Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the amount of work that it takes to empty a tank full of water. So we're given this tank, it is full of water, and they want us to calculate the amount of work required to pump all the water out of this tank. So first of all, we know that the length of this tank is 8 meters, and the height of this tank is 3 meters, and the width of this tank is also 3 meters. And then we have a spout like this. It's 2 meters, and we have to move all of the water and pump it outside of the spout. The first step is to place an x and y axis with the y axis pointing downwards this way. So this is the positive direction. The second step is to draw our layer of water. So this is one layer of water, and you can imagine that there are many, many layers of water from here to here. Right? So in order to empty this tank, we need to move each layer of water like this one to the top and out of the spout. And so the distance from the origin right here, the origin of the axis to our layer of water, this distance can be considered as y. So the formula to calculate the amount of work to pump the water out of a tank is w is equal to the integral from the top to the bottom of density times distance times area. So first of all, what is the bottom and what's the top? Well, as mentioned before, we want to empty the tank from the top, which is here, to the bottom, which is here. Right? So the top right here is the origin, which is 0. So this point is 0, the origin, and this point is 3. How about the density? Well, if we look at the table, we're given the length in meters, so the work will be in joules, and our density is 9,800. What about the distance? Well, the distance to pump it to the top is y, right? The distance we're pulling the layer of water to the top right there is y. But then we also have to pull it outside of the spout. We have to pull it outside of the spout as well. So the distance is just y plus 2. Last but not least, we need to find the area. So let me show you how to do that. Now the area of this layer of water, this is a rectangle, so the area is equal to the base times the height. Now the height of this rectangle is always 8 meters. Here it's 8 meters, as you can see, it is 8 meters, so therefore this right here will also be 8 meters. And how about the base? Well, the base is this distance, right? So first of all, from here to here, this distance is x, as explained before in my previous episodes. So this means that the base, the complete base, from here to here is 2 times x. And because of that, the area is equal to 16x. Since our formula is dy, we have to convert the x into the y. And let me show you how to do that. So if you look here, this point to this point, so this is a line, right? This right here is a line. And we know that this point is going to be 1.50. So that point right here is 1.50. And why is it 1.50? Well, because we know that the distance from here to here, this distance right here is 3, right? So what is half of 3? Well, half of 3 is just 1.5, which means that this distance from here to here, that is 1.5. And because of that, this point is 1.50. Now, how about, how about this point right here? Oh, well, that point would just be 0, 3, because... It is located at the origin 0 and the height is positive 3. And notice that 3 is positive because we're saying that this direction is the positive y direction. And so let's write down our two points. We have 1.5, 0, and then we also have 0 and 3. This means that the slope m is equal to 3 minus 0 divided by 0 minus 1.5. 
this is the same as 3 over negative 1.5, which is equal to 3 divided by negative 3 over 2. And this is the same as 3 multiplied by negative 2 over 3, which is equal to negative 2. Right, so this right here is equal to negative 2. And let's go ahead and erase this right here. Our point slope formula will be y is equal to negative x, which is the slope that we found, plus b. And all we have to do is substitute one or these two points in here. And I'm going to substitute this point. So y is equal to 3 is equal to negative 2 times x, and x is 0, right? So this times 0, which just means that this right here is 0 plus b. So b is equal to 3. So let's delete the b and write number 3 right here. Our equation is y is equal to negative 2x plus 3. And we're going to solve for x so we can put it back into our area formula. So we get y plus 2x, y plus 2x is equal to 3. Then 2x is equal to 3 minus y. So x is equal to 1 over 2 times 3 minus y. 16x is the same as 16 times x, which is 1 over 2, 1 over 2 times 3 minus y. And we can close the bracket. 16 times 1 over 2 is the same as 8. Let's go ahead and put this into our area. The last step is to evaluate this integral. This is equal to the integral from 0 to 3. And then 9,800 times 8 will give you 78,400. And then times y plus 2 times 3 minus y. And don't forget the dy. Since 78,400 is a constant, we can move it outside of the integral. Now, what is y plus 2 times 3 minus y? Let's find out. We have y plus 2 times 3 minus y. y times 3 gives us 3y minus y to the power of 2 plus 6 minus 2y. This is the same as negative y squared plus y plus 6. After I solved this integral, I got 1, 0, 5, 8, 4, 0, 0. So if you solve this, this is the number that you should also get. And the unit is going to be in joules. So this was going to be joules. And you can also approximate this into 1.06 times 10 to the power of 6 joules. So this right here is the answer and also the amount of work that it takes to pump all of the layers of water out of the tank and also out of the spout.